hey fam welcome back to my channel if it's your first time joining me welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back family welcome back flamo um thank you so much for tuning in and as you can see by the title of this video today we're doing a <laughs> what are you laughing i'm so nervous wow <laughs> Today we're doing a sister tag. This is my sister. This is my baby sis. Um, you are my baby sis. <laughs> I'm not a baby. <laughs> I am your younger sister. She's my baby sister. Uh, I'm 28. She's 20. <laughs> 21. Turning 21 this year. Turning 20. You know what? We're not gonna argue here, girl. You're my baby sister. I have been okay. for the longest time. Like it is what it is. You need to accept that. Anyway, we're doing a sister tag. Introduce yourself, guys. Hi guys. <laughs> my name is Lindela mm -hmm. Smith. Okay. Her original surname. Wow. Well now you can call her Mrs. Lamini. <laughs> but yes. She's my older sister. Mm -hmm. Do we look alike? I'm not a baby. Uh, do we look alike? Do you think we look alike? I don't think so. I really don't. Okay. But some people say, like, sometimes. Yeah. Until the day. Anyway, today we are doing a, a mukbang. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I am I am so excited. But. But. I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, today the devil is just. I forgot that I had a dentist appointment today to um tighten <laughs> to tighten my braces. <laughs> hey! So my teeth are a bit painful. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. Tighten So yeah, this should be very interesting. Um this should be very very interesting i've got a knife teeth are painful i've got a knife so that i cut and we're what eating I... like burgers yeah <laughs> guys <laughs> so this video has been sponsored by the food hut girl like girl does the most um, i was so excited it really is. I was so excited when she wanted to, when she agreed to partner with me, and she did the most. Like they sent me m way more. Than so this is what they sent to me, <laughs> and it's just the two of us. These one of the fries, and then these fries. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I know. We've got the Hattie burger, the jalapeno burger, and the double bacon burger. And then these are the cheese of uh, cheesy bacon fries. Oh my god! So many carbs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. So today we're, so we're just gonna answer a couple of questions, and then we're also gonna like, you know, brunch, delve into some girl talk, some sister Deep talk stuff. <laughs> yeah and so yeah if you want to see more please stay tuned Period. Which burger do you want to start with? I definitely want to end with the bacon one. I feel like I want to start with, like, you don't have to finish a burger because you won't finish. Yeah. So, I've got my knife <laughs> because I, I can't, even if I hadn't gone to the dentist today, I can't. I look so shiny. I can't bite into the burger with, with my braces. But for the sake of this video, honey. Ah. Oh my, look at that. Would you look at that? 
beautiful, beautiful. Mm. I want to start with the baby. <laughs> Which are in the normal one, the Hattie. Yeah. Let's start with the Hattie. <laughs> okay, I think I, I need to chew on this side. <laughs> Not on this side. Okay. Oh. Mm. If you're really craving a burger, like a proper, proper, proper burger, burger, Food Hut is your girl. Mm. Guys, please bear with me with the way I chew. Like I said, I have braces, and today, more especially, I did get them tightened, which is the worst possible day to film this video. But anyway, I got them tightened. So, I'm gonna chew weird, but I'm gonna try not to. But yeah, what do you like and dislike about your sister? <laughs> I think this is about to be a confrontation space. <laughs> no, it's just just be honest. Just be honest. Old people first. Why? You start. Okay, I'm gonna start with positives. I'm usually I end with positives. Okay, let me start with dislike. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think like I wouldn't say dislike, just sometimes like I question. <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes I feel like you have a way of answering that is not nice. I'm calling me out. No, the thing is, the thing is, Nick, you're a nice person, you're always the nicest person. But like you have your moments, Nick. Where you answer a person, maybe you're in a bad mood or anxiety. I'm never in a bad mood. Let me explain them. I'm never in a bad mood, but I let pressure easily get to you. me. I'm not a moody person at all, but I do let pressure get to me. Affect Absolutely. You. And I'm working on it. I'm definitely better than I used to be. Yeah. It's I know. I'm aware. Okay. okay. So that's what I dislike about you. What I like about you, I like how what can I say? Is resilient a word? strong like i like yeah. how strong you are like there's so many things that you've gone through that other people would have just been like i'm done with life but you're not you continue on girl oh, that's <laughs> your turn mm. guys i'm gonna be munching while you decide how, how do people do this especially when the food is nice how do you stop to talk mm? To be a profession. So good. What I like about you, you're so confident. Like, Scorpio and I, my best friend and I were actually talking about her the other day. Like, Uzi, if we had your confidence growing up, we would be the girls. If we had your confidence, and you know, I got it, but she was actually telling me when I was your age, I was not as big mm. as I am right now. But you actually at your age and now have reached, you know, in terms of weight to that level. But you are still like rocking it. You don't like, honestly, where do you get your confidence from? I don't know. I just think, I just think I don't let people get to me, you know? I don't let people who like, you know, those people. Ugh, I don't let them get to me. I mean, I know I have a mirror, but at the end of the day, I'm still beautiful. I'm still very attractive to a lot of people. It's, so, not, yourself, it's, not, about other people. it's not other people, yeah. It's about me, like me you know, when I see myself. What I don't like about you. Oh no. <laughs> you are so aloof sometimes. You are like not a people person. Like sometimes you you are I, I don't know how to explain this. But you hate people basically, except for the ones you love. If that makes sense, you wanna be alone. Sometimes you just get so awkward and like you you have your moments where you just wanna be alone, and like it hurts in a way. But like I now I understand. Aww. But I'm like, how oh, she doesn't wanna be with me? Like, not about you, baby girl. It's not about you. It's not about the but like, especially like you said, the people that I love. I always want to be with you guys in spirit. I just have those days. I'm not... Okay, I think I'm kind of moody. 
You're but, definitely moving. But I have I just have those days where I'm just like, uh Linda Lost Smith is the only person I wanna be with. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. The next question. Next question. Um, what do you have in common? What do you think you have in common? Um, I love for Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> I love for Beyonce and Nikki. And Nikki. Um, um, what else do you have in common? Like you love fashion thing. and food. We have food, guys. That's why I, I didn't think of anyone else to do the small family with but her because food. Food is our friend. Like, yeah. I think you and I are very different people. Yeah. That's the thing. You and I are very, very different people. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why it took so long for us to actually, to actually be friends. friends. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Like, I mean, obviously the age gap, I'm sure like every... <coughs> sister relationship. Yeah, that has like this much of an age gap. Yeah. It takes a while, I suppose. Because for the longest time I viewed you as just, just my baby, baby sister. You were just my baby. You were just a baby. We couldn't relate to each other. No, well, that's true. Like at all. So and I also just viewed you as this girl. Like at at some point I did I was like, how does this girl my sister? Like <laughs> I was like, she's just here. Like her presence to me didn't really like obviously I loved her because she was my sister. But her presence didn't really because I never played with her because she was older. I never so, did anything with her, so we never really talked. Mm-hmm. We never had conversations. We just it was just a that's my sister mm-hmm. thing, you know. So we we're just not friends. When do you think the you shift happened? happened? Honestly, let me tell you, I think it started to get better when I got to high school. Because I was starting to experience grown up things. You know? And you started relating to me more, like things that I go through. Then, and then I feel like I also started to tell you more about things. Mm-hmm. And you were like, oh, okay. And then as time progressed, mm-hmm. we became friends. Interesting. Like, would you say you looked up to me? I did. I would never people, ever admit this. Oh, a lot of people would did. tell me that. That's why I'm asking you. I'm not asking really? you because I'm like feeding myself or like thinking. You know? But I, I did. Not eating. I am. You're not. <laughs> I just don't know how to talk while eating. Oh, okay, let's have a meet some in. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm. I did look up to you just like you know. Why do you think I wear your clothes so much? Oh, and some point mm-hmm. I was just like, she's so pretty. Bang sangati feel love. Bang sangati discard. He goes, hey, yes, nothing here. Wow. Is so I was girl. like, this is my girl. And the way you used to dress. You mm-hmm. know how I've always loved fashion. Mm-hmm. So when you clothes, can you believe my mom used to buy those child? So you still like be like, mm, I wanna be like her. Yeah. No. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Next question. Oh. Oh my God, my What's your funniest funniest memory? <laughs> There's so many. A memory that comes to my mind is um I I would always I had a friend where we stayed. I had this no! friend that happened to be a guy, right? No. <laughs> I had a friend that happened to be a guy and oh girl just was not feeling it. We we're drinking coke I, guys, we're all gonna bro. Excuse me. I didn't like that guy. Like you were not feeling him. Like you didn't understand. Go see, why am I hanging up with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> and she would follow us everywhere we went. It was so awkward. Like it was so weird. She was like this weird little kid following us, and she t- she just be following us like the like it was so awkward. And, and the thing is, that guy was mean, and I feel like you don't see that he was a mean person. He was not mean. He was a mean person, especially to me. He'd always ask me like, "Don't you have friends?" And I'm there like. Hey. <laughs> 
anyways so I like have, that's one memory that's like so funny, so funny to me another funny memory is all the funny things that we watch dude like every time when we're in our when we used to be in our room and we'd watch the make <laughs> our favorite show best time best time ever next question what do you and your silly people find we like going to the movies yeah we like going to the movies dates. yeah lunch dates. lunch dates dinner dates sister dates mm. that's what we like doing and we like you know dressing up and looking nice taking pics and stuff like that simple stuff really Oh, and watching the make, the make together. <laughs> What's your new baby? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Eh, 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 these questions. Excuse me. Favorite inside joke. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you're boxing me. <laughs> And I don't like that. And, I like... <laughs> and mom used to get so annoyed. So mad. Because I used to say it for everything. <laughs> if something bad happens, to like because it was in mom, mama upagela wena, and then me and upagela and then I'm like, hi, mama. I feel like you're boxing me, in and I don't like that. Don't like that. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guys, these questions. What annoys you about your sibling? Okay. Do you have anything that annoys you? My phone usage. You are always on your phone. No, I'm not. When I'm having a conversation with you, I, I have a conversation with you. The thing is, you when I'm not woman, I mean, you talk too much and you, you want attention right here, right now, and that's not how it works, baby girl. <laughs> when you talk to me, you want attention like here now, mm -mm. always. Mm -mm. Anyway, like, oh. Uh, anyway, moving along, like, in which areas are you completely different? I feel like I'm a people person. Like, like I, I'm more welcoming of people. Like, I'm just, so, so I'm sure. nice. Really, and this one. Ha I'm awkward. <laughs> no, you're not. You're just Remember not that time nice person. Um, I don't. I seriously, I don't know how to socialize with other people that I don't know. Like even when you first, when we first went to your in-laws, if they weren't such welcoming people and such nice people, I would have never ever like been so comfortable with them. I don't I really guys it's a problem but it's me like even I feel like my roommates would I'm so full. attest to this um, even in my room I'd just be like the quiet one like I would not try to interact with them at all mm -hmm. so that's where we're opposites you're a nicer welcoming person and I'm not I feel like we should ask um What's our favorite memory together? I know you know, girl. I know you know, girl. From South Africa, please welcome the finest and fastest of African American culture. My brother, my sister, the outside. Yo. Cause yeah, 
I was I was crying, I was everywhere. I was so happy. So that's all. <laughs> Guys. Damn. We got to go to the Global Citizen concert for free. Uh -huh, yeah. This is my mom ticket. You know, when she told me that she was trying to win tickets, I was like, yeah. <clears throat> What are the chances? Even I barely believed it. Too. What are the chances? And she won. And we, at first we didn't believe it. We didn't want like, to get too excited. We were like, yeah, yeah, it's not possible. We went to try and check uh, and claim them. It wasn't working. Until it worked. Until we, we got the tick. And then we were like, what? My dear. Pick your bags. We are going to see Beyonce. Eh? Two of them, I won them. Chica! And we went, we went to Global Citizen and it was amazing. the best time. It was amazing. It was amazing seeing Beyonce live. Like it you can was. see you're breathing the same air as, as Beyonce. Beyonce. Dude. We were breathing, the, basking in the ambiance of the queen. She was Ooh. right there. Like, Ooh. girl, we've lived it was my friend. So nice. Oh my God. It was amazing. And then we almost died. Then people just decided to put it. You're gonna ruin your day. And the worst thing was, you know how you're so excited, like even after the concert, we didn't even care that we had to walk for like a long time. Because we were talking about Beyonce. Oh my gosh, Beyonce, Beyonce. And then when everything started happening, like all these bad things started happening, and then Beyonce was just forgotten. <laughs> I'm sure people know what happened, guys, after the global citizen thing. We were there. We were there, we were within. We were like gunshots. Hey. Tasers. We thought we were gonna die. Stampede. We would hear a gunshot this side, ran towards the side. Hear a gunshot this side, ran. It was so scary, guys. I won't even lie. Like, I thought I was gonna die. And I felt so bad that. My little sister's gonna die here with me. I can't do anything to protect her. Do you know her. what I felt? I felt like I shouldn't have worn like the tickets. I felt like it was my fault. Like, guys. And I, the most thing I was like, so was if Mlondi also got like dead. I think. So. Yeah, my husband. Cause my husband was looking for us. Cause he didn't go to the concert. We went, and then he came to fetch us. He and dropped us and picked us up. So when he was picking us up. Because of the people, like the number of people that were there, the situation, the situation, the network was terrible, so we couldn't call each other. It was yo guys, this yo. It was bad. It was so bad. my husband was literally walking up and down, not trying trying to knowing where to, not look knowing for where to look for us. Guys, Jesus is alive, ne? Because what are the odds of him being at that place at the same time we were gonna run to that place where we saw him? We started talking about Beyonce when we were making our way back to Swaziland. Mm. We were like, oh my god, did you see when she was wearing that? When she was... <laughs> Dude. Dude, best and worst. Yeah, definitely best and worst. I think maybe also what we can like talk about like how how was it being raised by a single mom? I mean it had it ups and its ups and downs. Mm. Our mom guys that woman it's a story for another day but that woman yeah. is, is a rock like to have to deal with such difficult children i don't i want to lie we were very difficult children very difficult but but we were very hard-headed children it's the anger i feel also <laughs> do you remember when pam oh. when pam told us could see a mom once left us in the house the three of us and just went to her house and was like Ish. <laughs> she was just like just taking a break. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We're not 
not even like we're not even that colored guys we're just colored because you know we're just colored by association <laughs> <laughs> but anyways yeah um i think for me because i've always just known having mom it wasn't really you know i just thought it was normal but obviously i could see that this that there's certain things that mom especially because i used to sleep with mom so me and mom used to have deep conversations even though i was a kid but i was like very intellectual kids so we used to have like deep conversations like how she wanted a car and all that but then she has to pay for school fees and i'm like but you need a car and you know yeah so i think those are the things money money was always like always one of the problems really mm. but the love the love was deep guys yeah the love was always there i feel i just i just think um firstly was dealing with rejection that was like the first thing mm. dealing with rejection abandonment um mom and us as well um so there was th there was that and i think that's where the anger comes from or that's where the anger started with us kids especially with me and my brother because we were there when our dad was there we were there when um he left he decided to leave and it's not like he died or there he whatever he just made a choice and decided that he was gonna leave us um <clears throat> yeah and um you know obviously being raised by a single parent three children you know like wow like i don't know how she did it i and mean it's I know not how like she you have the best job in the world yeah civil servant um single single mom raising three children um yeah god was on her side and really she really tried to 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 not make us feel like we are poor Lacking. in fact mm. one would argue that we didn't look like we we're struggling at all most times anyway this is not what the video is about but like let us know if you want us to do a video discussing you know growing up without a father and like all those dynamics yeah. because it's that's a deep one that's it's pretty deep, it's really deep. so ah uh, I enjoyed that. Um, did it lift your mood? Yeah, I did. I enjoyed filming that. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I just want to say thank you so much to the Food Hut for sponsoring this video. Ah, uh, I appreciate you guys so much. This was amazing. This was so yummy. As always, mm. I've had their food before. Like, yo, oh, but I feel like today she, they were just like, she was just like levels, levels, babe. Mm -mm. Yeah, Yo. and the the portions. Yeah, the portions are huge, guys. Damn. Thank you, thank you so much. The food hut. I will link their details down below so that you can check them out and order some yum yum for yourself as well. Um, otherwise, yeah. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Please do like this video and comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed it, and if you're not subscribed already, please, please do subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.